Yeah, Lauren, and it's not the way that anyone wants to spend their travel experience. And it's all in part, big part rather, uh, due to a travel snafu from Southwest Airlines. But tonight, you take a look here at this board behind me, and it is all delays, cancellation, and chaos. It's a travel nightmare. We got here five hours early because we heard about the delays, so we wanted to make sure we had enough time. We also want to leave this cold weather. This has been brutally cold. Air travel around the country upended by delays and cancellations, leaving travelers disappointed and some family members even optimistic. And if there's a cancellation, I'm going to be excited to have you back. <laughs> I think he's hoping and praying for a cancellation to have us come back. They took four days out of my life and have really disrupted my, my plans. Angela and Rick Evans are celebrating their 33rd wedding anniversary. The pair met Thanksgiving night some 35 years ago. The next week he showed up. And he's been showing up ever since. And they're supposed to be on a flight to San Francisco right now and return on New Year's Eve. Bought tickets for the, for the Warriors Utah Jazz game tomorrow night and then we were going to do a little bit of sightseeing, cable cars, you know, go down Fisherman's Wharf and have a good time. But their flight canceled and the next flight they can get on to San Francisco. The 3rd of January, but I'm back to work. Only thing I'm disappointed about is being able to see staff, even though he wasn't going to be playing. He was going to be in the building. Anywho. The U.S. Department of Transportation saying they are concerned by Southwest's unacceptable rate of cancellations and delays and reports of a lack of prompt customer service and will look to see if cancellations were controllable and if the airline is complying with its customer service plan. I found a ticket with another airline. But when things go wrong, they don't have a backup plan. You know, they don't care about their customers very much. And those cancellations for Southwest, they will still continue into tomorrow. Airlines, they say that they are working with customers to make the situation right, especially here when you look at these dozens of baggage, uh, pieces of luggage here down at Terminal 2 that are that's waiting to get uh, reunited here with their rightful owners. We're live now at RDU Airport. Dwan Hogarth, MS11 Eyewitness News.